Hello everyone, I'm filming a get ready with me and this is the look that I'm going to try and achieve. Um, this is my everyday makeup that I've been wearing recently, including a foundation routine for all of you guys who've been asking me, so be warned, the next clip I'm going to have no makeup on and I'm going to be a little bit scary. So stay tuned if you want to see how I achieve this look. So as you guys can see, I have absolutely no makeup on, which for me is crazy because I don't think I've ever done a foundation routine on YouTube. And the reason I'm going to do it is because my skin is far from perfect, it will probably never in my life be perfect and I think I've come to terms with that. So as you can see I have quite a lot of, well first of all my face is 10 times more pale than my body. I just need to even out my skin tone and I don't actually like to wear a liquid foundation day to day because I find they break me out a little bit more and I'm not on Rakutane anymore so I need to try and keep the, the breakouts at bay. So I've gone back to my Laura Mercier Natural Natural Beige Mineral Powder, which I used to use all the time. And the way I've recently been loving using it is with a Real Techniques. I think this is the buffing brush. The only thing with these is they are so messy and they get everywhere. So um, it's just one of those things, but I'm going to just get it out. And I've never shown you guys how I personally so use it. I take the brush and I tap it off in the lid. I've got all the product. Can you guys see it in the lid? I'm going to just pop it on where I have the most coverage needed, which is kind of like on my cheeks. And then I start blending. And hopefully begin to look human again. So yeah, I just, what I suffer with most is just pigmentation. It's a powder, but it covers so amazingly well. Popping it on where I need the most coverage. And I kind of press first, and then I blend. And I really do recommend you to really buff it into the skin as well. Do you guys like my pyjamas? They're from Primark. <laughs> Another thing is when I'm doing my makeup, I always have to have, like, a hairband of some sorts. I hate the little baby hairs that get in my way. They just really annoy what me. What I like to do is take a Kabuki. This is by MAC. It's a 182. I've had this for years. And I just blend even more around my neck. For those of you who are going to ask me if this is good if you've got dry skin, I'd say my skin at the moment, especially because it's cold, um, is probably on the normal to kind of oily side. It's not really oily, but since I've been on Rakutane, it's probably been about normal. I know that Tanya Burr from Pixie 2 Woo loves this, and she um, has claimed to have dry skin in the past and stuff, so maybe it is good for dry skin. I don't know. Next I'm going to do concealer. I'm just using um, Collection... Lasting Perfection Concealer, and this is in two. And I'm just going to pop it under my eyes. And my favourite concealer brush is the, well it's not a concealer brush, but it's the Real Techniques Setting Brush. And it just lets you get really close to your eye area. And if you wanted to, you can bring it down further, but I just do that. Hopefully I'm starting to look slightly human again. And then um, recently, I, I used to use the Sigma Tapered Face brush for bronzer. But um, I've gone back to using my Bent Blush Brush by Real Techniques. And again, some of you guys know the story of why this is bent. But every time I look at it, I don't know why, it just makes me crack up, it makes me laugh. But um, yeah, I've been using this for bronzer. And I do like my bronzer, so... Sorry to you guys who might think I put a bit too much on and go a bit crazy, but I do like my bronzer. And I don't know why this is something my mum does. I always put some through my brow. I think it's something my mum taught me. Maybe because it gives a bit of colour. I don't know. I do kind of just dust it all over. <laughs> the orange police is going to come get me. Then I'm going to do brows, and um, I was actually discussing my brows with my friends the other day because I put an Instagram picture up yesterday, I'm just trying to find my eyebrow brush, and um, everyone recently has been going on about my eyebrows, and um, although I'm flattered, I mean I haven't been getting any bad comments, I don't think they stand out as much in real life as they do in my pictures and stuff, maybe my friends were saying it's the filters I've been using, I'm just going to comb through my brows, or something like that, but... I don't feel like they're so... I'm getting worried basically that I have a scouse brow so 
let me know down below what you think but I don't know I personally love filling this them is in. the Beauty UK highbrow palette and um, I got it from Superdrug this is meant to be a wax but I just took the wax out because I don't use it and what I use is a mixture of these two colours so I dip in the darker colour I use a 266 brush by MAC which is like the best for brows and then I start filling them in so I kind of start in the middle I never start at the front And I got them threaded recently and I think one is slightly thinner than the other. The, this one I'm drawing is slightly thinner. So I need to try and balance that out. And then at the front, I just kind of feather up. I don't know, I don't think that looks overly dramatic, not in real life anyway, but I feel like in my pictures they look kind of crazy. Also let me know if you like these get ready with me's. I know I'm just in my pyjamas but I actually have to go to school after this so um, I didn't want to be faffing around choosing what I want to wear so I've just literally the only thing different to what I would normally do is that I have a camera in front of me and that I'm sitting on the floor. Can you guys hear the birds outside? You can really hear them. My favourite other product for my brows is the, um, the Brow Drama by Maybelline and mine is a medium brown. I love this for setting my brows and it gives a little bit of colour but it's not too much. I just try and take off some of the excess product from the, the spoolie and I just put it through my brows. Sometimes I even put two like coats of this but normally I just put one. Then I just take my Amite or Amite eyelash curlers. These are I think a Swedish brand. Um, I got them in some kind of box ages ago. I keep doing this. Then I recently bought a new telescopic mascara and I've lost it so I've gone back to using my old one. But this is my favourite mascara. So I do a few coats of this because I find this is really, really lengthening. And then um, I go on to my voluminous mascara, which is this one by L'Oreal as well. Hopefully I am looking a little bit more human, so I have my lashes on. And now I need to get on and do my hair. Or should I do lips first? I'll do lips first. Um, I bought this lipstick. I've been going lipstick crazy now that my lips aren't as chapped as they used to be. And Maybelline came out with their new nudes collection and I was all over it. I know in the US they have so many different colours, that's my GHDs. Um, but we only have a small selection here in the UK and the only colour that I really liked was the Tantalising Taupe in 725. Which is this sort of colour. It kind of matches my nail polish. Um, my nail polish is another thing that I love and it's probably going to be my favourites and it's 505 Get It Whilst It's Hot by the Lasting Finish Rimmel ones. It, I thought I didn't like it at first but um, it's really really nice. So The good thing about these lipsticks is they're the sort of colour that it rubs off really nicely so if I'm at school all day sometimes with talking and stuff, you know, I don't have time or in, being in lectures for three hours, two hours, I don't have time to constantly reapply. That's the colour. And then for gloss, I'm just going to wear Clarins Instant Natural Lip Perfector because I love it. And also this is looking a little bit nude on camera. So today, because my hair I need to actually wash my hair. Guys, I've been having so much trouble with my hair recently. It's gotten so super long and every two seconds, like, I have to wash it. Like, I'm not joking. I can have one day hair. My hair is clean for one day and then I have to wash it the next day. So I really, really need to go somewhere and do something with it because it's driving me insane. So if anyone has any recommendations or stuff like that of places to go or if you guys know anyone who'd like to do my hair let me know because um I've got some things in mind it's just kind of finding the place and 
all those things. I'm not doing anything perfect because I'm just going to um, tie it up today. I just kind of want to get these crazy little bits here that get all crinkly and these bits which I hate my sideburns <laughs> you guys see how long it's gotten? yeah <laughs> it is long and I'm kind of thinking of going here this kind of length just because it's become unmanageable <laughs> okay so I have a hairband at the ready and I'm just going to take a comb and comb my hair back I'm just going to pop my hair back in a ponytail Okay. so this is kind of what I'm going for okay. sounds like I have a zoo outside my house so many animals and ta-da and then I just tighten it like that and that's my ponytail and I leave these kind of bits because I don't like it to look too kind of woof. I know it's quite slicked back but I quite like the look of just a standard ponytail and this is so old school I used to use these things back in the day when um, I was younger and this is just super drug one pound styling gel not super drug boots and um, I just use this to tame my flyaways okay <laughs> just makes me laugh. <laughs> it just makes me laugh I don't I don't know why but yeah I'm gonna take some in my hand you guys are gonna be laughing at me aren't you and I just pop it around here because I've got crazy baby hairs on oh, now I've got some here now whoops no okay it doesn't matter and then at the bottom where most of the craziness occurs and do you guys remember those girls that would walk in the hallway like this <laughs> that's what it always reminds me of this is my look of the day this is what I wear during the day I'm not wearing a blusher I haven't been wearing blush recently for some reason unbeknown to me but I just haven't been feeling any blush I've just been going for quite a bronzed look um, I might add some highlighter but I've got gel on my hands so I'm not gonna do that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I probably won't do another one because if I do it would just be me getting ready during the day but this is my makeup every day the only things that change are my hair my lips my blush and whether I wear highlighter or not so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and for all of you guys who've been asking me for a foundation routine for so long you have one now I really recommend this for girls who have problematic skin this doesn't feel heavy on the skin and you can really build it up to a coverage that suits you so I have hardly anything on my forehead but I have quite a lot of my cheeks and stuff like that like it's a really versatile little product um, it's a little bit expensive but it's totally worth it I've been using it for years and years and years I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you thought of it down below and um, I'll see you guys in my next one, I have a favourites I really need to film so see you guys, have a lovely weekend